If you've tried learning Spanish online on your own, I'd be willing to bet that the biggest problem that you face is focus. There are so many apps out there. You've scrolled through the app store. You've seen the dozens of options. There are dozens of blogs dedicated to language learning tips and Spanish tips in general. There are lots of awesome YouTube channels out there. There are hundreds of teachers on italki and other options available probably in your local area. There are hundreds more teachers on Instagram and TikTok. There's nothing wrong with any one of them individually. The problem is with a language like Spanish, too many options make it difficult to decide what to do and how to focus. The most important thing when you're learning Spanish is consistent effort over time. And that's easier said than done, but it is made a little bit easier if you know kind of what you're focused on and how to spend your time when you're actually learning Spanish. So what I'm gonna give you here is a straightforward, easy to maintain system that you can put in place for the next two or three months of your Spanish learning and see some progress. All right, so step one is to find one method, one teacher, one resource, one primary resource, basically one approach to your Spanish learning that you can follow for an extended period of time. I just read this book by Oliver Berkman called 4,000 Weeks Time Management for Mortals. And it has some really interesting lessons in all of life, but it's, a lot of it applies to language learning and any other skill that you're trying to pick up. And one thing that he pointed out that stood out to me is that a lot of times we avoid uh, difficult work by trying to keep our options open. We say, you know, I'll learn Spanish once I find the perfect teacher or once I find the perfect app or the perfect method or once I'm a fully optimized person and my time management is 100% you know, solid. Once I have the perfect time management strategy or productivity strategy, then I'll finally be able to learn Spanish and speak it well. And unfortunately, there's no perfect system or app or program or course that exists for learning Spanish. Anything that you go with is going to have its flaws uh, or its downsides. But you're not going to get comfortable speaking Spanish by bouncing from app to app or teacher to teacher or building an elaborate productivity system. A lot of times these are just ways that we try and procrastinate uh, doing the work that, that we know we need to do. And this doesn't just apply to language learning, of course, it applies to all areas of life. Like for me personally, right now, I'm learning to oil paint. And if I had spent, if I add up all the hours that I've spent watching videos about painting and instead had actually spent that time painting, I would probably be a lot better. That's not to say it's not valuable to watch other people or to learn from other people. Of course it is. But there's a limit, I think. And at some point, it's more valuable to learn from experience. And this definitely goes for language learning because you can read about it and learn about it all day. But until you actually get out there and speak with somebody or are reading a book or listening to a podcast or doing the work yourself, it's never going to click actually with you. It's never really going to solidify in your brain and make sense to you so that the language is yours and you can actually use it, manipulate it and, and make it your own. So what's a good place to start? You can obviously find a course or a program or app online. You can find a teacher or a tutor on a place like italki or a partner to exchange with on an app like Tandem. But to keep it simple here, I'll just leave some links to uh, resources that I recommend for different levels down below in the description. All right, so you found your one main resource or material or teacher that you're gonna use. What's the next step? The next step is to do one thing with that resource every single day. Like I mentioned before, consistency and discipline in your, in your language learning is a lot more important than which app or program or teacher you have. So don't worry too much about finding the perfect uh, resource. Just find one that works well enough for you, commit to it and use it. Uh, do whatever the next thing it tells you to do is. So watch the next uh, video, listen to the next podcast, do the next chapter in the book, make the next appointment or, or schedule the next lesson with your tutor. Whatever is the easiest next thing to do, do that. All right, then what do you do? So you found your one resource, you're sticking with it, you're doing it every day. The next kind of question that you're probably asking yourself is, all right, well, how long do I have to do this for? And the short answer and kind of the annoying, unsatisfying answer is that it depends. It depends a lot on your goals and, and where you want to go with the language, how quickly you want to learn. But if you stick with it and you give it 25 minutes a day, your full focused effort, whatever it is that you're doing, within a month, you're gonna see progress. Within three months, I think you'll see dramatic progress. And look, when I say progress, I don't mean that you're gonna all of a sudden be uh, fluent or feel supernatural and comfortable in the language. 
I think that takes, at least in my experience, it takes longer. What I do mean by progress is that you'll understand things that a month ago you couldn't. You'll be able to say things that a couple months ago you couldn't. You will feel more comfortable and natural in the language than you did previously, which is the most important benchmark. The most important benchmark isn't what other people are doing or how good this or that person is in your class. The most important thing is comparing yourself to where you were a month or two or six months ago. And it doesn't require any elaborate time management technique or approach or spreadsheets or innate talent or motivation even. It does require discipline and consistency over time. You know, the action that comes from being disciplined and consistent over time will lead to the motivation that you need to want to keep going. And that's not to suggest that discipline and consistency are easy things. I'm saying those because it's what it takes, but they're definitely not easy. And that's why most people know how to start a language, but they don't know how to keep going for long enough to actually get to where they want to go. You have to stick with something for long enough to see the compound effects of all of your effort. And a lot of times it can feel like nothing is happening, particularly in language learning. You're spending months doing whatever it is that you're doing each day with the language, and it can feel like on a day-to-day -day basis, you're not really getting any better. In one of my favorite books about language learning and about Spanish, the author Joseph Keene in this book is called Breaking Out of Beginner Spanish. He says, at times it'll seem that your brain is too busy absorbing new information to be bothered with relaying it to your mouth. Fear not. The information is oozing in and assuring itself a place, and one day it'll suddenly be available and act as if it had been there all along. So stick with it. The day will come. So now you just got to get started. That's the hard part. Don't wait for motivation to strike. Take one small step towards learning Spanish today. And once you've found an approach that works well enough for you, stick with it for long enough to actually see progress because progress will come from you putting focused effort into one primary approach. And again, you can check out the description for some resources that I think are good for Spanish learners. And if you like this video, consider subscribing. This is a new channel. Also, if you let me know what was helpful for you in the comments or any other videos or anything that you struggle with when it comes to learning Spanish. Let me know in the comments and I'll respond and maybe I can make another video about it to help you out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.